I was able to watch Godzilla Kong The New Empire, so let's review the movie. Let's start off with everything I liked about it. I feel like the human characters in this movie, the storyline at least, is handled a lot better in this movie than it is in the other movies. There's not as much of it. It's still in there. This movie focuses more on the Titan storyline and it really took the criticism from Godzilla vs Kong and focuses more on the Titan storyline. If you're a Kong fan, like me, this movie, basically Kong's movie. Godzilla is basically a side character, so if you're not a Kong fan, you probably won't like this movie as much. But if you're a Kong fan, you're gonna love this movie because Kong has own character arc in this movie. Thing, Like I said, it doesn't focus on the human storyline as much. So now we actually get an arc for Kong and Godzilla. They actually have character arcs this time around. On that note too, Movie's a blast throughout. When it came to the final 20 minutes of the movie, it's fun. This movie is fun. Those last 20 minutes though, those were the best part of the movie. The final battle. Best part of the movie right there. And there's a couple of scenes throughout the movie too, but the main battle with Godzilla and Kong teaming up. That's what you went for the movie for. That's exactly what you're getting with that fun that you get right there. And the villain, like Scar King and stuff, I do feel that he is a strong villain to have Godzilla and Kong team up against. Scar King as a villain, I do think he was a pretty good villain. Probably the best villain we have gotten in the MonsterVerse so far. This movie has a bunch of dumb, fun moments that are just fun. That's kind of what to expect for this movie. This problem still, because although this is just a fun movie, most type of movies always run into problems. Let's move on to everything I didn't like about it. Yes, I did say the human storyline is fixed up, but they're still in here for about 35 minutes of the movie. I'm not going to stay on this bit for too long because it's what to expect. I did say the human storyline is better because it's not throughout the movie, mainly because these Titans actually have a character arc this time. But human storyline definitely could have been a lot shorter. This movie just tells you stuff. That's mainly because these titans don't really talk, so they can't tell you the story. So these humans are just there to tell you what's happening on the screen. Because there's there's this one scene where a human is explaining everything. It's basically an expedition dump where they're just explaining everything that's happening. And that's just because these titans can't talk. So I just feel like they could have fix that a little so it's not really just an expedition dump. And then there's other moments in the film, like one of them's during the final battle, where a character is explaining what's happening on screen, which that doesn't really need to be in there. <laughs> so if they just fix that up a little bit, it could have been better too. Godzilla, I said he's barely in the movie, so if you're a Godzilla fan, you won't like this, but Godzilla and Kong don't really team up till the last 20 minutes of the movie. So don't expect a lot of that. This is mainly just a Kong storyline. This is basically his movie. It's his character arc. It's his story. Everything about this movie is about Kong, which I did like the Kong storyline, but I do wish we got to see Godzilla and Kong team up at least halfway in the movie, but they team up in the last 20 minutes just to fight the final battle. I wish they were teamed up throughout the entire movie, because when they were teamed up, those were the best moments of the entire film. If they were teamed up throughout the entire movie, that basically fixes all of my problems I had, because if they were to keep the same runtime, the human story will basically go away. We basically wouldn't have that story to have Godzilla and Kong fight for the last 45 minutes of the movie, so definitely could have been fixed. But overall, Godzilla Kong The New Empire is just a fun time, has its problems, but you're really going into these movies expecting a fun time, and you're really going to enjoy that if you're a Kong fan, because Godzilla's barely in this movie, and they don't really team up till the last 20 minutes, so this is basically just a Kong movie, but it's a lot of fun, definitely worth your time. 10. This rating's just gonna be based on my pure enjoyment, because it has problems, but out of 10, I'll give Godzilla Kong The New Empire a 7 out of 10. If you like this video, maybe these ones on the side will interest you too. But anyways, thank you guys for watching.